we shoot from Houston immediately to PA. And 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 it wasn't too long after that she she was gone. So you got to see her before she actually took her last breath. I, I, I was holding her hand while she took her last breath. Wow. You was holding her hand while she took her last breath. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Anyway, <laughs> let me ask you this, man. Trying to stay sane, man. How did you think that done after you had done that, and then now time has passed and you had a chance to look back at it. Man, trying to stay sane, just a little history on him. I wrote that in, when I was dying. Okay. I wrote that standing up against the wall at like 2, 3 in the morning. Um, it was just me. I was I was in there. It's just how I felt. You know, it was like what I was going through at the moment. I'm really like, I'm one of these, like... Cause my partner here tell me all the time, like, damn, but you don't never make no turned up music, like no sad. I mean, like no club, like, but you need club song, clubs. But shit, niggas just been through it, right? Like. Yeah. So that's how you know, like, the music for me is not really like a go to to turn up. It's it's like that's my venue. Yeah. You know, that's my therapy session. Whenever I'm, I'm just. That's like most of my song storylines. Let me ask you this: uh, when you and uh, D Trill did cry. Mm -hmm. How hard was it you for you to step in there and do your your feature and just add your piece to it? You see what I'm saying? Oh, man, I knocked that the night. I knocked that the same. He sent it to me on a Thursday. And shout out to D Trill. You, I, hey, I got to get him back on there. And Mississippi, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, man, D Trill shot me that song on a Thursday. I ain't even. Fuck. He was like, "Mama, be in Houston." What, Friday? I'm being Houston Friday. I'm shooting with somebody. Saturday, we'll shoot. He actually like came I, here right after he left there. I ain't even, <laughs> I didn't even, I faxed, because I, I did see that he wore the he shirt. Did. Yeah, he came yeah, here right he after that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, nah, I ain't even mess with it for the, the the Thursday and Friday. I did that like Saturday about 2 in the morning. Okay. Then I texted him when I finished it. And I was like, uh, you up? He's like, yeah, I'm in the studio. I saw so I FaceTime or I played it for him because I, I recorded myself on that. And uh, he like, see, I'm fucking with it, man. But I did that. When I finally put it up, I, I did it like that. Like right, quick. Yeah. It was a nice song. And his old lady, she did that hook. That hook was nice, too. Thanks, she got I love that hook. She it. actually sung it. By, I think she sung she it did. here. She yeah. did. She did. She sung the hook right here. Um, when, you, when you think about it, you did another song, I Don't Want to Cry. Right, Ronnie Spencer. You with Ronnie Spencer in Trap Bar 100. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, cries in these songs, right? Like, <laughs> you didn't even think about that, probably. Look, you know what's the crazy <laughs> part? While we was doing the song, I didn't think nothing about the other song. Really? Until after the fact, and I'm riding, listening to it, and I thought about it. It just done. It like, damn, why we named this song that? It wasn't even, <laughs> like, not even the lyrics, you know, the, but it was just the title. It's like, Damn, why we tired of that? But <laughs> you know the song is song it's organic. So I like it. I love your like, verse on it too. I appreciate it. Yeah, it, it was on it right. You know we had to get one with the OG. Yeah, Ronnie Spencer, my boy. You know we talk. That's my guy. We gonna call at least once a month for sure. Man, it's not twice. To get me on something right now. I think he said he's doing like a one day remix or something. He 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 trying to get me a he's drop a of genuine, eight on there. He, yeah, yeah, he's genuine, man. I like to see. Like I said, I just want you to keep working. You know what I mean. I think if I want, if I was to say, if I was manager, I'd be like, we got to do more work. We got to put out more stuff and more visuals. And we got, because y'all know the way the internet is moving, right. we, we, you got to have it like that clockwork because it's a lot of people doing a lot of things and you can get lost in the sauce. So you got to, and, and as you do it, you're going to get better. So it's best to keep it in their face because at the end of the day, you are somebody with a name. A lot of people don't have a name. Right. So you have that name and you have an opportunity to do something other people couldn't do. And that's what I've been doing pretty much on the back end for those who've been wondering. Like just putting a solid team together. So when yeah. we do move forward, we can we can push, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. gotta look back, whoever we lose, we'll replace it along the way. But you know, just off the rip when it's time to move, we can move we as can a move. Pick. You know, everybody everybody doing what needs to be done. Um, efficiently. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm just getting my. I think I got everything I needed out of you. Um, you did go uh, 
on that song, uh, you you definitely uh, went by your grandma's house. How how tough is that? You know, uh, when you go by there now, you know, and just see the house there or whatever. Do you be in Port Arthur a lot or? I slide through and slide through. Yeah, I don't I don't have nothing like that. that and that's the way I feel about home too. Yeah, like my my old man gone from my my granny gone, my little sister not there, my brother not there. You it know, seemed like, like a ghost town, don't it? Like I real life don't have no reason to just go out there and freelance. Yeah. Like Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, grandma, you were there with her the whole time up till she passed away, right? right. Um what did she tell you? Because sometimes when someone is on their, you know, deathbed or dying, um, we tend to try to leave something that can help you move on. You want me to tell you the crazy thing? Yeah. I didn't even know my granny was sick. You didn't? I was in Houston one day. And my mama phone rang. We was in the car together. And um, there's my little brother, my Miranda. She called. She was like, man... Went to mama house, she wasn't breathing, man. She on the way to the hospital right now. We shoot from Houston immediately to PA. And 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 it wasn't too long after that, she she was gone. So you got to see her before she actually took her last breath? I, I, I was holding her hand while she took her last breath. Wow. You was holding her hand while she took her last breath. Did you Do you remember, like, before all this happening, maybe just talking to her in conversation and she was giving you some things that you could, rem you know? She was incubated. No, I was talking about before. No, just, just prior to that. Yeah. yeah. Because she's putting on a strong front for you because you she didn't knows. know. She knows. She knows. You don't know. But you didn't yeah, know. Nah, so nah, she's trying to be she strong. She was stage four. She had lung cancer. Yeah. It was, but it was stage and four. And you didn't notice anything. She didn't look any different. No. Yeah, but man, so I wasn't really paying attention. Attention, yeah. Like how I would be now. You know, like. You're younger. Because even on some days, I, I, my mama posted a picture and I called her like, hey, what's up with you? Why are you looking like that? To, you know what I'm saying? So like, you why, try to make take notice of yeah, stuff more like, now. But at that point, I was 13 then, 12 then. Like, so I wasn't really noticing that. Mm. Man, Granny kind of slowing up around here. Like, you know, Granny kind of looking different. Looking face, different. Like, you know, cause, but it, and at the same time, too, it was another situation going on. So I kind of thought it was that. We had gotten a wreck together, me and her. Okay. Wow, y'all got a wreck? We was, we was turning in somewhere. I used to go to uh, like the little learning center after school, Silver. So she was dropping me off one day, and we was turning in, and somebody hit us going like 60, 60. While, we, while we turning in. How long before she passed away did this happen? Maybe, probably not even a full year. So they hit on her side or your side? They hit us from the back. On the back, yeah. okay. But we was like, not going fast at all. We was turning in somewhere. Right. So, yeah, he smacked us from the back. We so she was going through that. Skin. Did she go to the hospital for yeah, that? Yeah, she went through the whole, the whole little non-therapy, all that. But I was, like, the times when I did kind of notice a few things, I wasn't thinking of it as sickness. You know, mm -hmm. it's more of, like, pain, physical pain. Like, right. from the wreck, though, that's what I'm that's thinking. That's what you're thinking. Yeah, like... But looking crazy. back now, you're like, you see where the signs were, but you just didn't realize Facts. it. Well, you know, God don't make no mistakes. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you he know, wasn't supposed you had to know her, it. again, I go back to even Fred Hampton Jr. again, you know, to have somebody and to not even be able to have that person. Like, I didn't know my grandmother. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. I never got to meet her. She died of cancer before I was born. Now, I knew my great grandmother, but I didn't know my grandmother. My mother's mother, I never met. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? And so see, one of my, my one of my, my brothers right on top of me, I think that's why I burned so tight because he was like six, seven months and his daddy got shot in the head in, mm, in the game. I mean. So like some of the loneliness like that that hoes, like sometimes we be like here, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like we feed off each other and like he can sense like my bad days and vice versa. So like we always trying to like Be there for each other, yeah. man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.